Hey everyone, it's Carol at Big Cat Rescue, and I just wanted to be quiet there at the beginning because Cameron was roaring in the background and that was just too cool to talk over. What you're watching right now is Keisha Tiger, who is getting her breakfast by Sarah and Rich. And next door, we are, well, not right next door, but a couple cages over, we are trying to catch Priya for her dental this morning. Dr. Gingrich has come up from the South Tampa, or South Tampa, South Florida. He's a, a dental expert who is going to be assisting Dr. Justin today. And Gabrielle is all excited because there's stuff going on next door with her friend and she doesn't know what's that, that's about and it's breakfast time. I know, there's so much going on, Gabrielle. Good morning. Do you know if she's been darted yet? Are they trying they're to catch her? Oh, are you so bouncy? You're so, so bouncy. <laughs> yeah. Call for Gail to bring over some different food items to try and tempt her. So that was Gail rolling up in the background there. I see TJ's up and about, so we'll go over and see TJ. Once they get her into the transport, they will take her over to the Winsong Memorial Hospital and they'll weigh her to make sure that they've got a good weight on her. And then, depending on whether they have to sedate, or sedate her before or after, she'll be sedated. Hi, TJ. Hey, handsome. Oh, there's a good tiger. Yes, you are. And she's having some dental work done. The, all of the cats that we brought in from Colorado just had horrible, horrible teeth. And the reason for that is these backyard breeders who breed them to use them as pay-to-play props for people who want to have their picture made with cubs, the only way they can use the cubs is to take them away from their moms right away. If they spend even a few weeks with their moms, their moms will teach them not to let people do that to them. <laughs> and so that's why they take them away usually when they're only a few hours or at most a few days old. And there's no tiger milk replacer out there. So they end up being fed puppy milk replacer and goat's milk, which is not sufficient to raise a tiger on. And they end up with horrible metabolic bone disease. All of the cats from Colorado just have awful paper shell bones. And cats need their teeth more than anything else. So they will pull that calcium to their teeth over the rest of their bones. So when they have bad teeth, you know they are in horrible shape when it comes to their bone structure. And so then they went to Serenity Springs and one of the ways that these places manage to keep so many tigers in cages for breeding purposes, just like a puppy mill, these are tiger mills, they get the throwaway food from Walmart and freeze it and then they will feed it out in big frozen blocks and they do that to try and keep the flies down and so that they don't have to deal with defrosting the food they just pull it right out of the freezer and throw it to the cats and here the cats are trying to chew those frozen blocks of food with their horrible rotten teeth and they just end up breaking them all off so when these guys came in from Colorado last November we took care of the emergency stuff they had to have, but they were in such bad shape and had every one of them had some weird infection, different infections. And so we had to treat all of that. And now they're stable enough that we're able to go back and start taking care of the teeth. So that's what's happening today. We had four cats on the schedule for today to get dentals done, but I think it's going to be only three because those take, they can take up to three hours each. And there's just so many hours that are vets can stand up do that and do that so we may have to schedule another day real soon
I'm spending time over here with TJ because I don't want to crowd in around what they're trying to do with Priya. The cats are smart enough as it is, and when you get a bunch of people, then they start getting really suspicious about what you're trying to do. The Tiger Lake project is going very well. In fact, when I came in today, I asked Scott and Victor both, what day is this? Because they don't work on Saturdays. And they were both here working on Saturday to try and get that Tiger Lake project done. The wire will be here next Wednesday. And Scott says he thinks that they will have the... Sorry, I'm having to mess with a gate here. <clears throat> he thinks they'll have all of the decking done by Wednesday so that they can start attaching the new stainless steel panels. So that'll be cool. There, that's a better shot. No wire in the way now. As long as he doesn't turn his back to us, we're good. Nettie, it is 9.01 here. I believe they started around 8.30 trying to catch Priya. You just never know how long those things are going to take. Who are you looking for? A long, a long uh, we had a really long one over on the far side where Priya was yesterday where we were trying to get the door down. Oh, there's a long piece over there? Yeah, it's, ha it's hanging up in the tree right outside that gate. Yesterday we had a gate gets stuck open <laughs> and we have so much trouble with that one gate it's a door that goes between two sections of Priya's cage I know there went Afton you gonna follow Afton so we had to take a very long scraper pole over there to wiggle it a little bit so that it would drop <laughs> yeah, it does. I hope you're right. I hope it is still there. Laurel, I'm not sure who the three cats ended up being because we have four on our list, so I'm not sure who got dropped off the list. I know first is Priya. They're catching her right now. And Zabu is one of them who still needs dental work. And uh, Seth. I'm pretty sure Seth is one of them that we will do today because one of the things we have to do is to sedate Seth in order to move him and he needed to be sedated for his dental so we didn't want to do it twice so what we'll do is sedate him for his dental and then he'll wake up in his new space so that they can tear down the wall in the cage that he's been in for part of the catwalk project that they've been working on. Catherine, we are so thankful for the rain. Man, have we needed that rain. It's so nice to see the little blades of grass responding. It's been great for knocking the dust down on our roads, which have just become so dusty. And it is much cooler weather. It was like 66 degrees last time I checked my watch, which is crazy because it's been in the 90s every day. Gabby's right next door here. Here's Gabby. She might have been the fourth cat that they had on the list. I don't remember.
she is still not going in the transport. I don't know if you guys can see her way back there by that den. That big gray rock looking thing. She keeps sticking her nose in the transport, but she's like, I don't know about this. She had such a rocky start when she first came here. She's the one that had that 20 pound hydrometra that had to be removed the day after she arrived. And then she had that horrible, horrible bacterial infection that just wouldn't respond to any of the different drugs that we were using and the culture took so long when we sent it out to the labs to come back as to what we might be able to fight it with and so then we had to start all over with the antibiotics with something that would actually kill that virus and there were several times when we thought we would lose her she was in such bad shape when she came but is uh, well I guess you guys didn't see yesterday I was with the film crew all day yesterday and Priya is doing great now so I'm very happy about her level of energy and her playfulness. And I was just thinking this morning, these guys are, um, they're finally starting to show such amazing personalities. It seemed like for the longest time they were just dead. And I remember TJ was that way when he first came here. He was just totally zoned out, like he had completely checked out of life. And sometimes it takes days, sometimes months, sometimes years. For their true personalities to really start to shine. Keisha has a personality. You have a personality, don't you, girlfriend? <laughs> yes. Who's the Chuffy Tiger? For those who don't know Keisha, she lost her tail and ear at her previous facility. And you can see how her stripes on her back leg don't quite match up right. And so there was obviously some big injury there at some point. The keepers at the place that she came from in New York said that her tail and ears were ripped off by the lions who were kept in a cage next door. Juanita, they don't live together because they're solitary. In the wild, cats do not share space. The only time they come together is for breeding or maybe a mom raising cubs. but. Aside from that, they don't want to share territory. They're often kept that way at places because people want to see them in groups because people are social primates and we think everybody else ought to be social primates like us, but tigers don't want to do that. <laughs> That's funny, Des. She does have a few personalities. Dennis, nothing ever happens to the people who do these awful things to these big cats. There just isn't enough um, manpower or resources to properly prosecute them. And in most cases, the cats just don't have attorneys to represent them. We actually were the first organization to ever hire an attorney to represent a tiger. And that was for Tony the Tiger at the Tiger Truck, truck Stop. And we fought that battle for years until we ran out of options for him. And then thankfully the Animal Legal Defense Fund took up the banner and they are still fighting to try and get that tiger out of the truck stop. The, the big problem, the reason why these animals are treated so badly and suffer, I know, you suffer so much is because we don't have any laws that ban the private possession of them. And that's where Big Cat Rescue is leading the industry in that we are promoting a federal bill that would ban the private possession of these cats so that they can't be speed bred and ripped from their moms and discarded into awful situations. And you guys can certainly help us with that at bigcatact.com. Lee, the truck stop is in a little town called Gross Tet, Louisiana, and it's a truck stop that's right on the interstate there, and that poor cat's been in the truck stop since he was a baby, so he's been there, I don't know, 14, 15 years now. I've lost track. If you go to freetony.com, it'll tell you all about Tony, the truck stop tiger, and all that we've done, and all that Animal Legal Defense, done. Animal Legal Defense Fund is still doing to try and get him out of there. Diana, thank you for posting the link, bigcatact.com. 
Felicia, the way you can help is by, if you're a U.S. citizen, go to BigCatAct.com and contact your member of Congress every week and until they become a co-sponsor. And that's what you want to ask them to do when you call. Say, ask your boss to co-sponsor the Big Cat Public Safety Act, H.R. 1818. And that's the bill that will ban the private possession of these animals. You hear him, Cameron talking? He's so talkative this morning. Yeah, Diana points out a uh, important point. If you're shy or nervous about talking to an aide who's going to be like a teenager answering the phone for your member of Congress, so it's not really that scary. But if you're one of those people that just feels really uncomfortable making a phone call, now's the time to do it because it's the weekend. There's nobody there. <laughs> You'll just get an answering machine and everybody can leave a message on an answering machine. Trying to see through the woods if they're having any success over there. I hear them still calling her. Anything's happening, Keisha? Yes, you're so chuffy. You're the chuffy tiger. Nettie, I agree. Most of us do not want to go to the dentist, and Priya is no exception to that. Sarah, we've never actually measured to see how long these tunnels are. I don't know if you can see from this angle how that works. But there's all these tunnels that connect the tiger cages to each other. And they stay closed because <laughs> tigers don't want to share space. But uh, that way we can rotate the cats through the different cages. And then they can also be rotated out to the vacation rotation enclosure which is two and a half acres. I see Seth up there. Let's go see Seth, or not Seth, Andy. Both big tigers. Hi, Andy. Are you having a bath? Oh, you hear the food coming. I hear that food wagon. Yes, Felicia, your member of Congress can co-sponsor the Big Cat Public Safety Act. That's what we want them to do. And Hawaii did just pass a, a really strong rule about not having these animals in performing acts. So I thought that was really wonderful and a good uh, indicator of what the people of Hawaii are thinking as far as how these animals should be treated. So asking your federal congressman to co-sponsor the Big Cat Public Safety Act would be awesome. Hi, Andy. Andy's on the list for dentals, too. Just not today. Not today for you. Oh, you're not kidding. There's a lot of tunnels. There are tunnels all over the place here. It's a much easier way to move the cats to and from vacation than trying to get them into the transports, which you can see they are not too keen on doing. And for a while there, we only had one transport, so 
thanks to all of the people who donated to Give Day and to Roselle and a lot of others who have donated to our transport fund. We've had one more build and Jamie just sent over some renovations that she wants on the next one. Alicia, if you go to bigcatrescue.org, right there on the front page, you'll find the, um, there's a little brownish box where you would fill in your name, address, phone number, and it will actually place the call for you to your member of Congress. That was some yawn. I heard a noise over there, like maybe a door shutting. That would be cool. Should we go see? Should we go see Andy? Let's go see if they caught Priya. All of the dentals will be done live today. And you guys can watch over at bigcatrescue.org slash vet, V-E-T, bigcatrescue.org slash vet. What's happening, Zeus? See Zeus in the front. I don't know if you guys can see Hoover back behind him in the den. They're in separate cages, of course. This morning when I came out, uh, Zeus was in his pool again, which was really cool. I see people walking fast. Could be success. to me. Good catch, Jamie. That's hysterical.
rescue.org/vet. Uh, we're doing lunch orders early so I can order them online. Um, so as soon as I'm done with blood work, then I can just go in and order. Anything vegetarian. Uh, wider wheat. Wheat. Uh, six inch or 12 inch? 12. And you want a little bit of everything vegetarian? Sure. Okay. Cheese? Yes. Uh, what kind? Any. Swiss provolone? Provolone. You're going to talk to volunteers and you can go talk to them. I don't know what to do, what to tell them about what to do when they're in there. I'm asking them what they think about helping with this procedure today. Interview them. <laughs> you win lunch. <laughs> so Jamie says it's another five minutes or so before she's completely asleep. And I already started a Facebook Live video, so I'm here to interview you about what it's like to work with the tiger today. <laughs> Tell everybody your name. Hello, I'm Audrey, and I'm very excited to work with the tiger today. <laughs> Have you done that before? With, no, no, no. I just clean small cat cages. I'm a red shirt volunteer, so I never get that close, and this is a great privilege. And it so, sounded like you offered to help with some of the cleaning today, too, since we yeah, were so short-staffed. So I'll help carry the tiger in, I guess, and then go out and clean. Oh, that's so awesome. Thank you. There's Kitten Karma. <laughs> yes, I'm Kitten Karma. Everybody knows staff and master keeper and I'm here helping with Priya. We had lots of fun trying to get her into the travel wagon. <laughs> I heard it was a paper towel that finally did her in. Yes, it, it was. It was. We had chicken, we had drums, we had a sickle that we let her lick and then Gail came with a paper towel and there she went. <laughs> Gosh, and you have like a, um, you were a vet tech before? Yes. In Washington? It's Oregon and Washington. So. Cool. Yeah. Be plenty of vets and vet techs in there today. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably more vets and vet techs than there are helpers. <laughs> <laughs> Mike. Hi, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're Mike. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is the first time I've ever done this. Really? With, with any, with, well... You know, I've moved them to and from, but I've never participated in a in a procedure. And uh, I got peed on by a tiger for the first time today. Oh, <laughs> by her? Yeah. Or somebody as else? Was, no, as I was pushing pushing the cage up the ramp, I felt something warm on my knee. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they hose you off before you get into that tight space in there. I'm saving it for my dog. My dog likes to sniff stuff like that. So. <laughs> it's going to be like, holy cow, Mike, what were you doing today? <laughs> Hi, I'm Charlie. I'm a level one intern. I'm actually very excited because Priya is one of my favorite tigers. So I'm excited to get the opportunity to work with her. Is it your first time to help with the procedure yes. on a tiger? Yes. And how long have you been here? Uh, two months. Two months. Cool. All right. And these guys are all going to go work on the cage next door that we're getting ready for. Um, we're doing a huge project on the catwalk over there. And so they are mowing and cleaning and getting everything all spiffied up for Seth after his procedure is going to be going over there. And then um, they'll have to mow and rake and paint and do all kinds of stuff out in that bigger yard too. So it's perfect time to do it while there's no tigers in there. That's Sue. Sue's the coordinator today. I 
I know. She saw, in fact, they weren't even trying to lure her with paper towels. Apparently, Jamie asked for a paper towel. Gail pulled one off and handed it to her. And as she handed it past the crate, Priya was like, oh, I'll take that. <laughs> and leaped after it into the crate. Good morning, everybody. This is going to be an all-day thing, so in the Keeper Cafe over there, I brought in coffee and donuts for everybody, and Gail is taking everybody's lunch orders because it's really stressful and you burn a lot of calories during one of these procedures. Here goes Scott. He came in on a Saturday to work on the catwalk project, hauling off all of the junk boards that we're pulling off the old catwalk. Looks like Becky is out there doing Keeper stuff. Dr. Justin just checked on Priya one more time. Sorry about that wind noise. They say another five minutes, so I'm going to log off and hop back on so we save battery. He looks too big for that. <laughs> Alright, so pull him back on the tarp a little bit and just head on. Alright. 
sometimes the cats hold their breath when they're sedated and it just scares you to death because you think they're dead. He's getting dental work done. He has really bad teeth. is waking up just fine. The other vets are over there with her right now. everybody <laughs> the Paul Mitchell school in Tampa sends their love ran off with the snap to this door. You go, you're, you're videoing. Right? Well, <laughs> I was trying to make up for the fact that you only got one paw. They're going to roll him up on the scales and weigh him. Wait, is it on? No. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Goku's already awake. What a good girl. She's a good girl, Priya. Good idea. First person who's never won before to get closest to the actual weight will win today's Facebook um, question of the day. And you need to put your weight guess in over at bigcatrescue.org slash win for it to count. Bigcatrescue.org slash win. Go post your guess as to what Seth weighs in pounds. Can I trust you with that? Yes. <laughs> Before I stick myself. Yes. Don't do that. How much did we? Four thirty-eight. Oh, was he on a diet Huh? What? No, he was the only one we said not to. Put on a diet for you guys have been rocking at this point. <laughs> I've been doing Facebook Live all day. I want to see what we can do for this guy. You want to tell everybody why you have a bucket on his head? Just yeah. getting him a little bit more sleepy before yeah. we put him on his back and pull out his tongue. Because you can't buy a mask for a tiger. No, that, <laughs> you have that, to make a mask for a tiger. The <laughs> only available clear bucket is pink with sparkles. <laughs> <laughs>
Your Bobcat Rehab fans are saying, we love your presentation. <laughs> I know her, she's the Bobcat lady. All right, everybody, I'm going to leave the room and we will bring this up on a uh, different camera. The camera that's above the surgery table there will be a much better view than what I can give you. What was the weight again, Jamie? The weight again? We have bets going on this, so I have to have the right number. 438? What was the exact weight? I heard 438. 438? Hey, everybody. It's Carol at Big Cat Rescue. And I just wanted to check in on Priya and let you see she's doing just fine. She's waking up great from her dental. She had three root canals done today, and Dr. Wade Gingrich was here with his crew, and he said Seth had, I think, 11 teeth extracted. Uh, most of them were those little incisors, the little teeny tiny teeth that your cat has up in the front of their mouth. Um, I don't know if any, I don't know if he lost any canines or not, but there'll be a complete report tomorrow at bigcatrescue.org slash updates but I wanted you to see that Priya is doing well before we run out of light. And I am going to go babysit Seth right now while he wakes up and while the vets get their notes all written up. So won't be much to see there except for a sleeping cat for a while. Love you guys. Thank you for being with us all day. Bye.